Welcome back to part 16 of my Zarina Katarin Let's Play, Total War Warhammer 3. So, picking things up, we left them last time. I was pondering what I was going to do next. Was I going to go save Zalboris at his quest battle, jump back into the realms of chaos and go to either Nurgle or Zinch, or was I going to send Katarin east to deal with the poxmakers of Nurgle armies that are currently raising through my territory? Thanks to everyone that weighed in the comment section last episode, shared your thoughts and advice. It's greatly appreciated. Do keep it coming. Uh, with that advice and comments, I've decided I'm going to jump back into the realms of chaos I'm going to go to Nurgle's realm this time. I was originally planning on going to Zinch, but as many of you pointed out, seeing as the Legion of Chaos are already in there, it'll be really tough to catch up to them, as I think it only takes the AI about six turns uh, to teleport and jump through Zinch's realm. So we'll probably go there next, although we'll keep an eye on what Goldtooth do. We could challenge them by going to the realm of Corn, but I want to save the realm of Corn till last, so we keep all the buffs and bonuses from the weapons that we take from there. So yeah, we'll just keep need to keep an eye on Goldtooth and obviously anyone else that grabs another soul this round. But yeah, we're going to go into the realm of Nurgle uh, with Katarin. We'll get Boris probably when we come back. Uh, I'm not too worried by these armies because we were able to whittle them down a fair bit in that last battle over here. I reckon Yechic can likely hold fairly well. It doesn't have walls yet, but it's got a solid garrison. This army, rather than pulling it back to Kislev, I think we'll hold it up at Prague, do a turn of recruitment, and then march uh, on Yechich. We might briefly stop off there to take out that portal. We do need to also close these down. We we'll likely have to do it with our agents. So I'm going to keep uh, Evelina here uh, close by, but we need it to send Katarin in uh, to the portal. Jump her out. She's not quite at full replenishment. Full strength. So let's send her into encamp stance. And also, from what I understand of the uh, realm of Nurgle, uh, land of the Plague Lord will need all the replenishment we can get. So, let's jump on in. The land of the Plague Lord. Be cautious where you step in this putrid domain. Nurgle's realm is a garden of bloated flora and fauna. Desperate to spread their infected spores. And at its center lies the mansion of the Plague Lord. The great sagging edifice where Nurgle himself works to concoct his greatest poxes. Guarding the mansion's gates is the gardener. The favored demon prince of Nurgle. Destroy him to claim his soul. Dun dun dun. I hear voices. What do you reckon the Airbnb rating is on the uh, Plague Lord's mansion? Five out of five? Four out of five could be cleaner. <clears throat> How they play. The lands of the Plague Lord. Mansion of the Plague Lord. Scroll through a scroll? Stroll through the Garden of Blight to reach the Plague Lord's mansion over here. Uh, then summon Nurgle's favorite demon prince, the Gardener, to battle. Be wary, for you cannot approach the mansion without immunity. Wading through Nurgle's swamps, walk in Nurgle's realm and be exposed to pathogens and plagues to which even immortal hosts are not immune. Your army will suffer attrition, so to survive, you must use stances to carefully manage your time here. To all the gardens, look for immunity and other gifts, for Nurgle is a generous god. At locations throughout his uh, fetid realm. Before you approach the mansion, you must go to an area of the Plague God's garden and receive the gift of immunity. Unwelcome visitors. You are not welcome here, you think? Uh, vile Nurglish demon hosts uh, will seek you out, so be ready to fight on putrid battlefields wreathed in storms of magic. Nightmarish Domain, yep, nasty chaos traits. So we've got to seek immunity first. Visit um, Argus the Plague Moon. Chance to fight at the mansion of the Plague Lord. That's over here. Oh, look at that. That's nasty. Argus the Plague Moon. The most disgusting of Nurgle's diseases rests on uh, Argus, the lost Sky Titan's skull. Can someone give me some lore about the Sky Titans? I think I think one or two have mentioned them before in my Cathay series, but what what's some like a nice snippet of lore about the uh, the Sky Titans? Well, let me know. So we need to go over here to get immunity then, and then we can come back to the garden. Uh, from what I understand, these armies are static; they won't come and attack me. 
but I need to attack them to clear a path through. I don't need to go for both of them. I just need to choose one of them, which is the easier to get through. That looks really nasty with the Forsaken in there. Lots of beasties. That's a lot of flyers, but we should be fine against flyers. I would have thought they've got a beast. No, that there is a great unclean one in there, though. We should be able to nuke that down. I reckon that's the easier one. Spurt Mildew. Lovely. Oh, there's Toxfarta, the Care of Worlds. That's another gift down here. Um, so we these will all give us gifts. Oh, there's one over here, the Great Tree. We could probably go for that one then and then push through. I don't know if they're worth all going for and getting. I don't. We don't really have time to visit everything here. This one you can wrap on round. What's that? The Septic Isle. I feel like... May, probably if you go for all of them, it'll make it easier, I guess, to traverse through. But that's going to take quite a lot of time. I guess it depends how many other factions come in here and chase us down. Can't see these armies just yet. Yeah, we need to go through for that one. Um, yeah, all these different... Is that where other armies spawn on in? Or is that just... It brought, it's probably got them there to spawn in new forces once you take some out, doesn't it? We've still got the previous one from Slanesh. So, yeah, we'll need to definitely rest up after this. Okay, yeah, we can't move Catherine right now. We'll need to probably stay in, in camp. Ay, 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 because it's going to be nasty amounts of attrition in here. All right, research. What are we going to do? We just finished the uh, Daza Cult Customs. I might actually go for that one right now so we get the Ice Bear Summon. Plus, it'll give us some extra money. Although, possibly want Tor if we're going to be fighting lots of battles. But I think we're far enough ahead in the race that we don't need to worry a huge amount. Waking the land... Um, that's the Awaken the Lands, this one, right? The Land Awaken. Or is that that one? No, I think it must be that one, right? Income from all buildings. Land Awaken. Oh, no, sorry, it's the Awaken the Land Commandment. Sorry, I was thinking that was attached to that one. No, okay, fair enough. Right, yeah, those are commandment buffs. Um, let's finish off pirate weapons. I start that one. Ammunition for Kossars. That'll be useful. Let's grab that you. one. Uh, and then, yeah, let's go for Daza for now for income from trade, income from build. We're currently at 52, so hopefully this gives a boost. Plus, it gives us Land Awakened, which summons an elemental ice bear, which I believe lasts for 90 seconds. Oh, wow. That's given us up to 800 income. That's not bad. Yeah, I'll take that. I mean, we're well ahead in the race right now. I mean, Kostalton is catching up, but we can always drop him down quite easily if we need to. Uh, that one's at 400. We're still building some buildings though. That's when you construct a building. We can always switch over to Tor if we need to. But actually, that's going to give me... Uh, let's move over here. That's going to give me enough money to swap in. I'd rather recruit in some more units here. Um, that's going to take a turn to get that recruitment capacity, isn't it? Let's go for corruption reduction on everybody right now. Yep. Um... Or two of you saying I got rid of the corruption building here. Yeah, but we're going to go for the uh, exotic animal tamer. So yeah, rather than going to Kislev, which should be fine. Hmm? Probably close that with Elsa. Uh, we need more money. Where were we sending you? We're sending you to keep an eye on the vamps, but right now they're gone. So keep you here. Yes, it is more effect or it's rather more cost effective to close these with armies rather than agents. We don't have enough armies. I don't know if we can maybe close that one with these guys, but let's throw in more troops. Just need a bit more money. Let's see if we can get any deals. Who calls? Who calls? Wizen, uh, Wizenland. Uh, you're at war with Sterland. Uh, you're trading with the M with Reichland though. So maybe, maybe I should do because Sterland, to be fair, are super squishy. Um. Yes. This land. They are actually improving with them. What's their relations with France? Oh, didn't actually mean to do that. The Empire. Yeah, you'll continue to improve. Okay, I'll I'll do it then. On behalf of the Empire. Now Give me some cash. You say, Start improving relations, and I should be able to get trade with them. Every little helps. The dragon. Kislev. That steals. Authority. What? Kneel to Orthodox. Great Orthodox. He'll do a defensive line. I mean, basically at war with everyone anyway. Can give us some extra money right now. Let's do it. As the 
child of the yes and we can get a military alliance with franz which yeah also makes sense right now i think let's Friends do that empire. give me Come. plenty of cash thank you affirmative affirmative an ad an ad um military alliance with the dwarves Winch. potentially Watch. we've got defensive alliance already so we can get an outpost we should probably look at some of these missions as well. Peace. No. I uh, don't have any right now. Just slowly ticking on up. Build one there eventually again. Ooh, Karak Kadrin, you're out. No. Christian, you're going to try and take that though. Might be able to reassert that. Yeah, actually, at this rate, we're going to lose the dwarves soon. They've got a force there. It's all been raised by Skaven, yeah. Warila, who we are at war with. He might hit Plesk, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's another army over there. Right, right. Trying to hit Nashrak's lair. They're trying to deal with the greenskins. Oh, they've lost Oakenhammer to them. Oh, they've stomped on through. They've lost Zuthbar. Yikes. Yeah, I'd love to help you guys out, but I can't. Can't get to you. You're surrounded. Come over there and actually have a look while we're not in diplomacy. Surrounded by problems and enemies. And Grim, if you can take that back, it might be able to recover. Things don't look great for you. And then we'll have mountains rather than nice, solid, secure with the dwarves. We're going to be surrounded by greenskins and uh, Skaven. Maybe the portals will slow them, slow them down a little bit, though. 12 tenths of the rifts close. Right, now we've got all that money. Let's get... I'd love to get some Griffin Legion, but I reckon we need to move next turn towards Jechich. I don't think they can make it in a single turn. It should be fine. I don't know if those guys will slow them down at all. They've probably got a turn. Uh, although, actually, we probably don't even have that. Um... The blizzard calls... On Might be able to from here. I'm just thinking in camp stance and we can do global recruitment and we can get some of these guys in the Cossars. I think that's all Join I'm going to be able to go for. Just loads of archers. I deserve Two more there. Just spam them out and then get to Yechic if we can. Close enough to push them back, I guess. We'll have to leave Boris till later. Can't close that. Don't have enough money. Um, this army over here, I think I'm going to... I'm going to see if I can get an ambush because I reckon going after all of them, I'm going to struggle. Ice. Let's go in about Ice here spreads. and get an ambush. See if we catch them if they move out or we'll see where Nordland go with their force. We've got this agent here. Let's just send him over towards closing that portal. So we could put him in that army actually eventually. We're going to have a rebellion over at Verzen. Yeah, we need to sort that out. Garrison's not terrible. Right, let's end the turn and see what happens. I can't do anything with you, can I? New. So just move along here. Keep an eye on them all. Let's see what happens over here. Hello, Costalton. What do you want? You want me to declare war on the Saal, which are up here, which would then immediately threaten the hell pit. I'm going to pass right now. Oh, we get an ambush. Beautiful. We are going to lose my dwarves and my cav, though. So we will go on in and fight this one. Nice. Good, good, good. Pick them off bit by bit. Save Nordland. There's a lot of you wondering whether or not this army should be kept out here in the west or whether we should bring it back in east. I think for now, we'll try and do as much to... Um, hamper the the ogres disciples of the moor here in the west but if suddenly loads of forces start harassing our core territories to the east then we'll need to make a beeline back to our homeland i reckon we'll start deployment so they're going to try and make it to that point there i feel like the last few ambushes i've had caravan ambush especially i haven't had this whole retreat point you don't get it every time is there only a small chance of it or something like that but i don't understand Iron, iron guts are nasty. Armor piercing. They've got ogre charge. Solid. Solid, solid ogres. And really what we want is to... 
have these guys just at the edge of their range and bombard them from both sides. firing from there cavalry you know i'm gonna have you here just to stop anything that makes a break for it and then dwarves love you to fire into those guys straight away she does have heart of winter we need to do her slow on everyone to start with though stop them charging And then we need to do Heart of Winter, if we can. Yeah, shred them. They're just making a run for it, aren't they? A little bit more. That's it. Crunch them all up over here. For the ancestors. Very well. Oh yeah, big old bear. That's what I've got. There he is. Yeah, there we go. Slow them all. Keep them caught in the heart of winter. Smack him about a bit. I mean, the Lord can run if it wants to. Blast through there. It's got a breath attack, but I wouldn't worry about that. Sons of Gislev. Slow them all. Minus. Blow through. Hussars. Bring them all down. We can't wipe them out. We've done a fair bit, a fair chunk of damage. Use your breath attack there. Nice. Pretty cool. Oh, yeah, there he goes. Yeah, he lasts about, I think, I think it's 90 seconds. Slow them all down. They're not actually running to the safety spot to get through. They're just trying to run off map <laughs> or maybe that's maybe that's the point it just runs them off there i don't mind about losing the cavalry they just like cav they've gone into us over here that's fine but they're all shattered now there we go finish things off a little bit more Give him a volley or two. Get the chance you didn't stop the fire, guys. Not going to make it. 
And they're going to get away. Boom. But a decisive victory. We'll take that. We lost 69. Uh, they lost 308. So they lost half their force. That's all right. Order Resolve would have seen the whole army go, but we'd have lost some of the dwarves. And right now, they're a, they're a pretty endangered race. Lost the some of the iron guts there. That's good. Giant blade, nice. Uh, replenishment back at full strength, pretty much. Got a decent bit of post battle loot. Uh, Five hundred sixty-seven, not much. Yeah, I didn't follow up with the other two armies, but maybe we are actually fairly, fairly tough. The army's tracking through there. Starting strong. Oh, Nurgle rebels. It's close victory. Nice. The, the garrison. Never falters. Yeah, we'll take the uh, treasure. Thanks. Beautiful. Oh, so we just caught the one there. Nice. Oh, Oracle Zinch are in. Okay, so we've got to race them now. Great. Those are the rebels, yet. Yeah. Age of Rage. Oh, great. Richmond Enforcer. Nice. Switch. Probably knock those guys away. Ba, 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 ba. Can't get immortality. Ah, oh, one more, one more level till that. Fucking conduit. Heart of winter. Oh shit, we've already got crystal sanctuary. I never use it enough. Of. We should though. Or two. And increase melee attack and defense. Probably mm, blue first or red. I'm thinking blue for the upkeep cost reduction and everything else. And lightning strike would be useful. And yeah, corruption reduction. Let's do that. A wondrous yeah. tool indeed. Frost weaver. I will they've also got, they've also got oh, vampires. Are they just rebels? Yeah, the vampire, vampire count rebels. Okay, we'll come and attack that in a minute. I just want to see what the state of play is elsewhere. Where is... Ah, oh, he's over here. Already taking attrition. Right, so they can all come in from different ones. That'd be really annoying if they... If, surely they can't spawn in here and then they get that straight away. We'll try and intercept him when he moves up here, I guess. So, let's send Katarin over to grab this. Great tree. Minus 25% casualties suffered from all attrition. All damage units will be fully replenished. Noise. Probably should have saved that until after we'd uh, gone after these guys. March. And we hit them from here in normal stance, though. Like next turn. That one can't hit me, but I've got bonuses to how far I can go. How much are we going to take attrition wise? We we'll lose six troops. And I can't get back to that stance. Get it. Well, we're in it now, aren't we? Um, okay, might as well go. Lesson learned. Don't come out of that stance. I'll come back to you in a minute. Understand skill point. Elsa, 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 you're over here. So for now, we want to have you on the campaign. So boost income. Ice. Have they made a move to Yechich? Yes, they have. I can't quite make it there this turn. Other army has pulled back. Okay, if I go here, yes, we'll be tired. But we're in reinforcement range, so that should hopefully slow them down. And then we can deal with that one. We're going to get attacked by the Skaven over here next. Plesk. Oh, it's only a turn away from getting... Oh, no, it's only tier two, isn't it? It's not getting the walls. Damn. Bloody Skaven. How are the dwarves doing? Did they just get taken out or did they move their army? No, they've sent their army down here, but they've got all the vampires coming on up as well. Ay, ay, ay. 
Right, they're re-established. Oh, but he lost a huge chunk of his army taking it. And he's going to get chased by um, Grizzgut, who's on a wyvern. I think Karakadrin's about to get wiped out then. Rut row. Vampires. Yeah, not harassing me just yet. They're back down here. Yeah, I think we can use this to slow, to close some portals. Although, help it. You guys saying get back. It's a really good one. Have, and let's close this one here. That means our capital is not under threat, so we just need that one closed next. And then, I think for the most part, our lands are fairly clear. I've spent a lot of money doing this, but as long as we keep getting battles to close them, we should be okay. And pretty much just that corn one there. And that over there. But most of these, apart from Igorov, have all got solid garrisons. Right, let's see how things look against Winter these guys here. Um, what I might do, because we can close that with the army, merge you two, say goodbye to these guys, pop you into the army. An attack. Pyrrhic victory, really? We'll lose my dwarves. But we are bringing out the settlement garrison. In we go. Deployment. Reinforcements are coming in from over there. There's coming in that away. Nice high ground chaps. Kazoo! Uh, I mean, you should be able to splat this opening force pretty comfortably. Push to you guys. Go forward. Name that high ground cut as a lovely position to then turn and face their reinforcements here. Probably check through my items and ancillaries. Actually, I picked up a few new ones. Might have a few we can use. Gonna be able to shoot them from here. Yep, they're in range. Flurm all down. Death Frost on that. Oof. That wasn't very nice. We'll save the bear for the reinforcements. For the ancestors. In you go. Buff them, even though they're not charging on out, that's fine. Land is power. Comfortably here. Killux, go! Slow them all down again. Crystal Sanctuary. back and get them round. Send my troops round. Summon a big old bear over here to keep these guys busy and slow them down. Follow 
Miners. I. Mr. Bat. Comes the Empire. Nordland. Go, I spare go. Just, just slow him down. That's all I want you to do. Bring him down. And you guys took a bit of a beating over here. It's the gorges, isn't it? Yeah, they're really strong. Bears down. Cavalry. Of course, dying in the trees. It's a Lionheart special. Gorges. Miners. Oh, look at those. Yeah, blasting packs. Go, go, go. Great damage. They have wronged us. They have wronged us. Oh, yes. Church. Nothing can stop us. Back. In. Yeah, all right. Minus. Minus, if you can pull yourselves back. Gordon's taking it sweet time. It's fine. I'll I'll get all the glory. I'll get all the kills. A little bit more for a heart of winter, and that'd be lovely. Get a break. Yeah, they're all going to go. That's the stuff. Slow him down. Should just gun him down a bit more. Thanks for uh, thanks for playing, Nordland. Appreciate it. Decides the victory. Well, at least we, in this way, though, at least we spared the garrison a little bit. Good guy, Lionheart, saving garrisons. <laughs> Terrifying master. E. Okay, uh, replenishment is 4%. Hmm. I think I'm going to take the loot. Is not we have to hunt you down. And then we've got to deal with the vamps next. Save Nordland, because then they hold my western territory order. 
Bride of the Ice. Only You're super weak. Not worried about you. Me. Let's go and knock this one out. Peace. Let's victory. You're not going to lose anyone. Hubble Winter boy. Fights with us today. They warrant the lowest station. Winter is our combo. Yeah, they've got the camp there, so that's what we need to go take out. That will clear this territory a bit. Victory of the Ogres. All the stuff gained. Keep pushing, although we do need to go close that as well. She can now have immortality. And yet more corruption reduction. You've got three. You can replenish. Ah, damn it. Urson's Raw. Yeah, and then we unlock some of these. I think I am going to go for... Uh, I feel like the, the battle hymn just seems way better with that extra attack. But maybe I should go for the healer one. I was considering that. You guys weigh in where we pop this point. Uh, although, actually, I'm um, having said that, I might be recording this episode Only back to back. I'm going to go for the lullaby. Me. Screw it. Yeah, I might be recording the next one straight after this, actually. Let's just pop that in there. We can spend the money to get the Temple of Ursa. Elemental Bears. Uh, not quite so useful for us right now. Frost Probably better we use that money instead. Closing Frost portals. Maiden. Go close that one. Let the frost empower us. Uh, I could send you over here to go close that one, actually. I seek experience. Go, go, go. Lose a little bit of extra income. Yes, love. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's shore up our southern border. Itch, itch. Uh, I would upgrade stuff. Although, I'm, I'm fairly confident you're going to survive, actually. So, show my confidence. I'm going to pop that in there. Ice witch. Uh, what do you upgrade available? Oh, yeah, you guys really should have something in here, though. Uh, you could have a farm. And then, yeah, we can pop that palisade in. Or we could just go for markets, palisade, and church for corruption reduction. Yeah, let's get a church in there instead. Let's do that. Let's do that. Right, end the turn. Let's head up to Catherine. And get her ready for a battle, of course. Yeah, Evelina. Oh. <laughs> really glad we came back to see that little bit there. Oh! Oh, I was still suddenly thinking, like, hang on. I didn't think they attacked. I thought it was happening against Katarin for a second then. It's like, they don't attack me in the realm, right? They've come round. I didn't think they get around. They've attacked me while I'm tired, but my reinforcements are coming on in. <laughs> okay. I mean, you've got two soul grinds, which are real nasty. They're attacking me, though. I've got to hold up to those reinforcements come. We will have the land awakened. I mean, it's quality this army get wrecked, but worst case scenario, it gets wiped out. The garrison manages to defeat the rest of them, saves a lot of money. We recruit a new fresh force. Uh, Vanguard deployment, let's have that on. Oh, it really doesn't matter. Let's have it on. Yeah, my lord, why not? Um, yeah, We're, we can we can definitely win this one. Definitely win this one, especially with that garrison coming on in. All right. Well, we will fight this one at the start of the next episode. Until then, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, take Prime to the Legion, check out my affiliates and sponsors, Games Planet and Overclocks UK. Till the next one, ciao for now.